Welcome to the Project Finance Modeling course. In this tutorial, we will be looking at debt sculpting in project finance modeling. The concept of debt sculpting is extensively used in project finance. It is essentially calculation of debt repayment schedule in such a way that debt service is tailored to the strength and pattern of the cash flow that the project generates. If you remember, one of the key ratios that lenders use to analyze the project's ability to repay debt is debt service coverage ratio, or DSCR. DSCR is a ratio generated by the project, and then this project's DSCR is compared to DSCR required by the lenders. We have seen in our model that while weighted average DSCR generated by the project may be larger than the minimum required DSCR, periodic DSCR in some periods may be lower than the minimum required DSCR. In other words, total project's cash flow may be more than enough to repay the debt. However, due to unusual one-off payments such as major overhaul of the project in some periods, the periodic DSCR may be lower than minimum required DSCR in those periods. This happened in our model because our model CFADs vary. However, debt repayment is happening in equal installments in each period. Therefore, the DSCR that we are getting in the model is variable. In some periods, DSCR generated by the project is significantly higher than the required DSCR, and in other periods, it is significantly lower. To resolve this issue, we have to tailor the debt repayments to the cash flows. When our cash flows are high, the debt repayment should be high, and when the cash flows are low, the debt repayments should be low. Luckily, this is generally accepted debt repayment method in project finance. Using debt sculpting, we can maintain the ratio between the CFADs and debt service constant, removing all the volatility. And that ratio is, of course, a debt service coverage ratio. Debt sculpting is generally applied when project has irregular but well understood cash flows, for example, in oil and gas projects, or because of the seasonal demand factors, which is common in power industry, or because of an unusual but expected payment, such as major overhaul of an asset. So, how do we do the debt sculpting and project finance modeling? Let's start with the DSCR definition, which is a ratio of CFADs to debt service. What we want to do when we are tailoring debt service to CFADs is to maintain the same DSCR in all periods when we have to pay debt principal and interest. We achieve this by rearranging this DSCR formula, divide CFADs by the DSCR to get the debt service which is sum of debt principal and interest payments. We can further rearrange this formula to get the debt principal repayments, which is CFADs divided by the DSCR and subtract interest expense. So let's work through an example of debt sculpting. First, assume that we have six years. We have our CFADs over debt term and our target DSCR is 1.45. Target DSCR is the same as required DSCR by the lenders. Next, to get the debt service in year one, we have to divide the CFADs by the target DSCR, so we have our debt service. Assume that our initial debt balance is 75, which carries interest rate of 7.5%. So, the next step is to calculate the interest expense, which is debt opening balance multiplied by the interest rate of 7.5%. Now, we can subtract from the debt service the interest expense to get the debt principal repayment. And, based on the debt opening balance and principal repayment, we get the debt closing balance in year one, which is debt opening balance in year two. Please note that the numbers do not add up due to rounding. So, we repeat this exercise until we fully repay the debt and our debt closing balance is equal to zero. Now you can see that variation in our debt principal repayment and debt service follow the variations in our cash flows available for debt service. When our cash flow is high, our debt service is high. And when our cash flow is low, our debt service is low. We will work on the debt sculpting in our model in the next lesson and see if that will resolve the issue that we have with the current DSCR.